So now that the hot and cold water system has been drawn to these showers, let's go ahead and connect the sanitary system. So if you guys remember that PDF, we need to show that again. So I'm going to go to my visibility graphics. We're going to go to raster images. I'm going to unhide that. And you can see my sanitary is way over here. So I'm going to start drawing my sanitary starting from my water service room because I'm going to need some drains in here. So I'm going to start drawing my sanitary all the way across and maybe all the way over in this direction. Well, it will eventually come out and hit the sanitary line on the street. So for this, I'm just going to draw without a slope because it's just going to make my life a little bit easier. But if you guys want to draw sloped piping, go for it. So I'm going to go to pipe. And I'm going to, this time I'm going to use this sanitary PVC DWV. Now this pipe has already been set up with all of the routing preferences that I use for my models. So you can see there's some, some caps in here, some clean outs. I have some uh, custom elbows that I've created, some P traps. So everything that I brought over from that template project gets transferred into this pipe type right here. So let's start drawing. Now we obviously need to change the system type to sanitary and again I have my own sanitary piping system called sanitary 2 and let's just start drawing some piping so I'm gonna start it off right here now we want to start at we're gonna use a four inch piece of pipe and let's just go ahead and start at negative two feet we'll start drawing from this direction right here we'll go off to the north part let's go ahead and click about this part right here and let's go all the way across to a point about right here just like that now we can always move this later but this is looking good for now and so now that I have my sanitary main I'm gonna go ahead and connect all of my showers together and then connect them to this main right here so let's go ahead and we're gonna go into our 3d view now you're gonna notice that I cannot see my sanitary and that's because this selection box or section box is not deep enough to show my sanitary so we can move that down just like this and then we have to move it over just like this and now you can see the sanitary piping does in fact show up. So a lot of times when I'm in a 3D view, the selection box kind of gets in the way or section box. So I'm just gonna right click and hide this in the view by the category. And now I can see things a little better.